House of Grace is all about touching lives. And this past weekend, King's daughters had their way as they reached out to the spinal injury. Well, I want you to take a look at what took place in their visit. We are very, very excited to be going and we want to thank you, Church, for giving, for making sure that this visit was possible. And guess what the daughters have to say to you? Thank you for giving us a chance to represent you. of grace as you can see we are here at the spinal injury hospital and we are here with the ward in charge and also one of the nurses and we just want to say thank you very much for your faithful giving thank you for making ministry possible to these ones who are not able to move and use their limbs and we want to say thank you there is no circumstance that is permanent your situation is not permanent. Wewe vile umelala kwa hiki tanda ama ukitumia hiyo wheelchair, it is not a permanent condition. It was a motorcycle accident. Mm -hmm. It was when I was driving, then I hit my head. Then I broke my neck. I was diving in a swimming pool. It was on a shallow end. Yeah. So I wanted to visit my family. And that day in the evening is when I got the accident. You never know what might happen to you. But people do take it for granted. We all have a reason to appreciate life and to appreciate what God has given unto us. And let's continue praying for our loved ones who are in hospital. Let's visit them. We are so grateful. Actually, some of our patients are never visited at times. Since they were brought, it's, some come from very far. So finding relatives traveling from like all the way from Kisumu to here is a problem. So when we get people like you, we appreciate and they appreciate too. And using things like pampas is very expensive actually. I want to say to the church, thank you very much for coming to see me, for donating things for me and for praying for me. You are welcome again and may you be blessed. And let's reach out to the many. So God bless you all and may his love, his favor be upon each and every one of you.